Hello everybody, it's Nerdy Boy Weaves here. I am back with a new reaction. I've been away for a while. Uh, I was out of town on vacation. And I had a really freaking great time because I was with my brother and my aunt and my fam and my grandparents. Well, my grandfather. Got to talk to him for the first time. Uh, I mean, sit down with him for the first time because this dang pandemic caused uh, problems with that. <laughs> but, uh, anywho, that's neither here or there. We're, um... Reacting to Daddy Fat Snaps, and funny enough, this song came out the day after the movie came out, and I just recently saw the movie. It was great. Uh, we are about to react to uh, Deadpool rap, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, Maximum Volume by Daddy Fat Snaps featuring Will Mix Williams and Game Boy Jones. I was not expecting Game Boy Jones to be on air. I knew Mix was going to be on air. I think the, the title is a play on. Um, Wade saying maximum effort. Uh, so we'll see what he's is gonna happen. He says if this if this goes crazy, I'll do Wolverine. I'll do Wolverine too. Don't forget to like and share. Obviously, like it makes as he didn't. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. That went that went by too fast. Oh, edits by Reese. Oh my came up. This, this, this. Like, it's a bit of say no shame, man. Put the foot of tang, I'll bring that you. Put it to the brain if I ain't. I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot. Take it to the bank, I'll bank my If you don't face the face, I'll lose. Got to take a name, goddamn, I shoot, I shoot. Oh, he said, uh, Marines don't go at Saber Tooth because, uh, Wolverine and Saber Tooth rivalry. And if you go off the movie verse, you know, Victor and, uh, Logan are half brothers. Uh, and also, you, you had to expect gun bars. You're talking about the Merc with the mouth. He carries the dually on him. Oh. Ah. But it's true because, like, literally, uh, especially with how this movie's doing, because they apparently said this movie's about to hit the billion dollar box office mark next week. And it deserves to do that. I've, I'm going to see that movie literally next Tuesday again. Like, it deserves that number one spot. This movie was... Here's the thing. Certain things I expected, but the way it was executed is what makes it so great. And the things I did not expect made me do spit take in the theater and made me go, what? I was like, what? I was in shock when I saw certain moments. I wonder if that snaps or someone's going to sneak a spoiler in here because they released this track the day after the movie came out of theaters. So maybe it's like one. Maybe. Because either we're going to react to Dizzy's uh, song in Gen 05 uh, for Death and Wolverine. So we might get a spoiler. Maybe. And like literally like I will say that in this movie Wade does make fun of how Marvel, a lot of people say, oh, Marvel's go da da da. All the nini nan nan All that dumbish. It's like they had, they've had a dry spell, all right? I acknowledge there have been some shenanigans at Marvel with the MCU, but Marvel has not fallen, no. And if they have had, then they've had like missteps. So, but here's my take on this Would you rather have. Would you rather get mad at a studio who's had bangers of bangers of movies for years versus a studio that has been like hit and miss a bunch of money, a bunch of a couple of times and it's been almost near consistent? And you know who I'm talking about when I'm talking about that? I'm taking the former over the latter. Thank you very much. Because honestly, they've done me better than the latter. You need to really 
not by the hand that feeds you. You can have your own criticisms and complaints, but some of you guys are just mean-spirited and just mean in general. See you in the mirror, think I'd hate me too. Piss me off, don't be surprised when my gun do. Pop my Glock, you ain't got no top, you look like a sun dude. Marvel at me now, spot number one, ain't got much room. They want to care about what you think, I shit the same and fuck you. Bitch, I'm King Kong, before you gotta bring more. Laying on the ground, nigga wondering what went wrong. I'm masked up, in a black guy to kick my feet up. Moving broad daylight, I'm hitting the scene up. Oh, Josh, off. Don't really get it off. I got no visitation, so you don't get involved. Let me loose off the chain. You know I've been a dog. Pull a stick down, get this bitch singing a different song. Bitch, I've been a saint, no shame, my mother. Put the foot in the tank, I'm brain not to. Put it to the grain if I aim. I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot. Take it to the bank, I'll bank my If we go and face the face, y'all lose. Got to pick a name, goddamn. I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot. Red man might pull up in your shitty shit. You had to go there, DPS, huh? I'm gonna pull it. We're about to pull it back. You're about to see what he just did. Oh, he's Josh Jenner. I do 125 drive-bys. Anytime I'm here, right time. I remember when I couldn't get a feature. Now they want to meet you, but bitches need a lifeline. Oh! Turn it up, turn it up, yeah. Pull the crash out when you're going for the truck. <laughs> did we did he just show that Xbox thing? Because if you have seen the Deadpool Wolverine Xbox controllers, those are out of pocket. And they, uh, Hugh is <laughs> Hugh Jackman, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Oh, we need to pull that back. What's the fuck? Who they call? Who they call? Who they call? Got you up the couch on his motherfucking draw. Uh, so why wait the mother universal calls? I might need some hot tour when I call. Oh, oh, no, you did not do the hot tour. Oh, my God. <laughs> really? Dude, you got to do a the hot tour. Wow. The mother universal calls. I might need some hot tour when I call. Oh, God. God. But you want to play a guy, but play the guy, but never get to play the pop. Oh. The fact that you had your avatar, your uh, freaking uh, scientist avatar giving Deadpool a cut of faith. <laughs> really? You see it? You see it? Because he calls himself Marvel Jesus. He said in the trailer, he says it through the movie. Again, I've seen the movie. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh we're gonna run that part back. I did not know that was him. That was Game Boy Jones. Um, God, I saw the comments. Yeah, I'm going to see my first there next time. But, or Stealthy. Uh, you kind of did it. Pop, tweet, blocks, for pop, and cheese. Don't y'all stop. Don't 
That is game boy. I'm doing the verses. What do you, this is, you're the chorus. What are you doing? I don't know, man. I'm feeling it. Goddamn. Shit. You're not doing it. 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 You're not
just like me. You got some scars that's on your heart and they run deep. I know you're haunted by your thoughts, you lose your sleep. Lose your sleep from these things that I've been through. It get dark when you peek at my mental. Only thing oh. I ever did was keep a ten toes. When I reminisce, I can get vengeful. Oh. I might be living, but feel like I'm living a lie. I'm alive, but I feel like I die. I feel like oh. I'm not a man if I cry, so I'd rather keep it all bad on the side. Hey. Ooh. A lot of that actually, all of that Dizzy just said is in kind of, even kind of like stuff you would feel, like kind of like shown through these characters in that movie. Because literally these characters have been at Death's Door multiple times, both in live action and animation and in comics. Again, these two characters are literally hard to kill. They are literally some of the hardest mofos to kill in comics, especially when it comes to Marvel. Who can relate? The more that you get, they take. The more that you love them, they hate. They really be testing your fate. <laughs> they spit in your face. Oh. Keep it in real, but they fake. Pray to God that I give them some grace. If I don't, then nobody's safe. Oh. Yeah. I know what you're feeling. I'm feeling it. And I know you don't care about that scene of me. Okay, and Disney's, I know when uh, you're feeling it's better because you don't do this for your benefit. Man, it's story familiar. We too similar. Bro, you're not alone. That's a brother I feel for you. Why could you just like, whoa. So Jenna's gonna be uh wait. You got some scars that's on your heart and they run deep. I know you're haunted by your thoughts and lose your sleep. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you just like me. You just like me. You just like me. You got some scars that's on your heart and they run deep. Maybe both of them some things. Fighting back, I'm fighting forward. Don't ask me about my life, I'm fighting for it. Put the pride aside and I ignore it. Why should I collab and I could join you? When I combine would be historic. We can try and line opposing forces. Watch my people die a lot of torment. In and out my life revolving door. We have our own faults. Let's make some progress. He is speaking some because again, way being a mercenary, he's seen people he's close with or main bonds would die. So he's like and yeah, him and Logan on screen together was one of the most historical cinematic moments you will ever see in history, in cinema. And it's something we as fans of the, these characters for years have been wanting to see. And knowing the real life friendship of Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, getting to see this man come back to play this character. Like, and I, I, I actually, I'm not going to... I was about to say it involves the kind of like the whole universe thing, but I I think it's better if you guys try to like figure it out yourself uh, once you go see the movie. But like, yeah, it's like, why would I why why spend my time just fighting? No, like, let's work together because uh, one, I need your help saving my universe, my universe or my timeline and universe, and then also it would just be epic. So, yeah. We can try and line opposing forces. Watch my people die a lot of torment. In and out my life revolving door. We have our own faults. Let's make some progress. A lot to process. May not have room for all of the nonsense. Breaking the fourth wall. It's open concept. Know what the vibe is. Wait, break four wall. Telekinetic seat. Can't let them get to you mentally. No. My enemies and enemies. That was a friend of me. They cannot threaten me if we don't fall. A lot of my traumas I Yeah, because the enemy to my enemy is my friend. Because, well, because well, Wayne Logan is more or less... It's a rivalry slash friend of me thing because they get on each other's nerves. They know how to piss each other off and they're half of the time scrapping each other. It, it meant it's telekinetic again. Cassandra. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Camera went out uh, for a minute. But uh, mentioned, uh, as I was saying, they mentioned a telekinetic because of Cassandra Nova. And this is, I'm going to say this because this is no spoiler. Uh, they like. We know that Cassandra Nova is the twin sister of Charles. Like, yeah, Professor X. Charles Xavier's twin sister. I'm not going to say how, but they don't explain it. But, yeah. All right. Back to song. A lot of my traumas I actually share with you. I show both a mask on my fears with you. How I stay afloat an actual miracle. Waiting at water like African spirituals. Uh -huh. You lived a rough life. So you can't adjust right, you've been through tough times. So who can you trust like me? We shouldn't cut ties, truth is to just, just like me. Just well, like a lot of his power comes from Wolverine. So makes sense. Just like me. Just like me. And they're both anti-heroes. I know you're haunted by your 
watch him lose his sleep. Yeah, yeah. Just like me. Hey, you're just like me. You're just like me. You're just like me. You got some scars that's on your heart and they went deep. I know you're haunted by your thoughts. You lose your sleep. Freestyle oh, 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 oh. rap, like, wait, you freestyle this dizzy? What? Uh, it was pretty deep. Uh, Mm. This, like this was a very different vibe compared to when we just reacted to Daddy Fast Naps. And that's good. Uh get this like there. Uh yeah, like again, I've seen the movie already, so a lot of the stuff because there are a lot of hard heart moments involving Wade and Logan, so it's their dynamic is how we know it if you're a comic reader. Uh, animation fan or just know the relationship with Devin and Wolverine in general. Excuse me. But, like, honestly, like, it, this movie is a fun ride. It's a fun ride, good story, and, like, the fourth walling on here is on fleek. It really is. And it just does what it's supposed to be. And I'm going to say this right now, like, to the people wondering about the Blade movie, and, and this correlates to this. The reason why I think they were, the whole stuff with the Blade stuff is out in the air right now, or, what, or I should say was, is, and someone theorized, and I'm going to go with this theory. They had to test this movie out to see if Marvel can now make more radar movies on a constant basis. Because Werewolf by Night and Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. Gave the gateway to Marvel realizing, oh, so we can go darker. We can go mature. And people like it. That's why it was e that made it easy. Also, Echo. I still have to watch Echo, but I know it's TVMA for a Disney Plus series that, um, involving Marvel. So, you, they, had to te they had to test the waters out with uh, the, the Devil and Wolverine. So, I think now because of how it's going... I think it's now rated R, officially. So, you're welcome. You have a bunch of impatient jerks. <laughs> Anywho, I enjoy both of these songs, and please check both of them out if you haven't already. Thankfully, I'm reacting to this when he just came out, too. So, that's cool. But if you like this reaction, please subscribe to y'all. Oh, if, I am so sorry. My, I'm tongue-tied right now. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. Please check the other videos if you want to support Dizzy, Daddy Fastenass, Mix, Game Boy Jones, and Geno. So do that. Then come and if you like my reaction, please subscribe, share. I'll see you next one. Bye. Maximum F.